Welcome back. Nina isn't here today, but we can still have fun. Have fun. See you around. Click on the tennis ball that has an odd number. Click on the tennis ball that has an even number. Click on the tennis ball that has an even number. Click on the tennis ball that has an odd number. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one and only you. Well, what a captivating audience we have tonight. My name is Duke, and welcome to my cave show. The rules are very simple. I am going to ask you a trivia question, and you have to answer it. The trivia questions can range to anything, but I'm going to need some help first. I just need to call my kids over. Now, all you gotta do is simply answer the question that is shown on the screen by clicking on one of the four boxes below. Okay, ready, steady, trivia time! Dinosaurs existed in the time period, B.C. What does no, B.C. stand it. for? Yeah, absolutely correct! What is the capital of Australia? Yeah, absolutely correct. When did the Titanic sink? Yeah, absolutely correct. Who who painted the art piece? Starry Night. Yeah, absolutely correct. Which which is the chemical symbol for gold? Nope, that ain't it. Yeah, absolutely correct. What is, what is the largest animal in the world? Yeah, absolutely correct. Who, who wrote the play Hamlet? Yeah, absolutely correct.
the Rich Place Emergency Alert System would like to give a severe warning. In our local woods, residents have been claiming that they have been seeing an unidentified creature nearby a cave. Scientists have done research and have said that it could possibly be a prehistoric creature from the early age. A man who lives in one of the cabins attempted to investigate but he has been reported as missing. We are looking for his whereabouts, if you see him, contact the police. Well, howdy. My name is Rabe. Me and my bear cub live in the woods. The woods that ain't far from Richfield. Richfield? Uh, sorry. I meant a rich place. <laughs> now, I'm a type of bear that loves to make music, but I'm a little bit peckish right now. So how about we go and find some honey? Great Scott! There's no more honey left in the trees. I can't think on an empty stomach, so how am I going to get some honey now? I know. There should be a store in Rich Place that should be a honey store. Maybe I can find some over there. Come on, let's go and find some honey. Well, we got all the honey we need, so let's head back to the woods. Not so fast, you honeysuckin' hooligan. And what think you have the right to come into my shop and steal all my honey? You know the rules, Rabe. If you want it, you have to pay for it. But jeez, Crow, I don't have any money to buy any. Well, maybe you could earn money by having a job. You can work for me if you like. Well, um, I would, but you see... <coughs> Whew, that was a close one. Now, here's a new game that we're gonna play. One of my cubs is gonna hide behind one of the trees, and to tell which one they're hiding behind, a tree will make a sound. Click on the tree that is making the sound.
Thank goodness you're here. The mirror demon has taken over our land by using its glass shards. The more he throws, the more our land will be destroyed. It's up to you to save us. Good luck. And, and what, what we, we have, have here? here. Nina. Nina. Uh -huh. You want you to want try, try and stop, stop, stop me? me? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Go ahead try. try. You'll just, just fail. fail. Good to see you again. I wasn't talking about the big show that's going to be happening in town. I can't wait. Did you hear that? That means the show is about to begin. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my big new show. Okay, for my first trick, I'm going to need a volunteer. Thanks, Charlotte. I love to get the show on the road. Thank you, thank you. Now I'll need another volunteer for my next trick. Mm -hmm. 